here is yet another theorem concerning Poisson processes. This particular theorem shows the equivalence between the event times of a Poisson process and uniform order statistics. And here is how it is stated. For a Poisson process with rate lambda, the distribution of the event times on the time interval 0s is identical to a Poisson s, I'm sorry, Poisson lambda s, number of event times uniformly distributed between 0 and s. So keep in mind that this right here is, of course, a random number of event times, and those turn out to be uniformly distributed between 0 and s. So this means that there is a second algorithm out there that can be used to generate a realization of a Poisson process, and it works like this. The first thing you do is you generate a Poisson lambda s random variate capital N, and that corresponds to the random number of arrivals on the interval 0s. Then you use the theorem to generate capital N continuous random variables that are uniformly distributed between 0 and s. When you sort those continuous random variables in ascending order, you get a Poisson process. So on the next page, we're going to do an example, which is to generate the, the customer arrival times in a Poisson process over s equals 1 hour. Specify s is equal to 1 hour at lambda equals 30 arrivals per hour. Well, the R code in this case takes just two lines, and that's it. So the first thing corresponds to the first step of the algorithm, and that is R Poisson of 130 will generate you a single Poisson random variate with lambda equals 30, and that will tell you how many dots are going to occur on this axis. It doesn't generate the dots, but it just tells you how many there will be. Then the next thing you do is you call the uniform distribution and you generate n of these. Now we're generating them between 0 and 1, so the, the parameters that follow this n can be defaulted. And then finally, you sort those and place them into a vector, and I called the vector time here. And that time will contain the event times corresponding to these dots here. And as you can see, the usual things happen in Poisson processes. You get the, the values that cluster together tightly, and you get some gaps, not huge gaps this time, but the gaps are going to vary. And if you did this over and over, you would get a different pattern each time for the Poisson process.